comes in handy a lot. Keep that by my firearm. Firearm I carry uh, is Colt 1911 and a Blackhawk holster. Next, we have my handcuffs. These are Peerless model 801 hinge. Um, I go for these as my secondaries or if someone's being combative or if someone has large hands. These are accessible for large hands over. Right. Two Americas. And you, you alone standing between them. Stand up for America. Let's vote to keep it free. There's rioting and looting, and the cities are being burned. Take time to look around you at the problems that we face. You'll see that the great society has been a great disgrace. Stand up for America. You did not ask for this fight. In an unspeakable crisis forced on you and your family, you're empowered to be the first responder and you can draw suddenly, knowing your firearm is reliably secure and always there for your protection. Like many concealed holsters, the Urban Carry is not designed to work with tightly worn pants. Large baggy clothes are not required. Traditional pants, slacks, shorts, and jeans work best. Hey, 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 little man. You're not supposed to be doing that without adult supervision. Hey, it's all good. Just don't want you getting hurt, that's all. What part of the city are y'all from? Watts. What's your two jobs? Uh, do good in school and help mom with chores around the house. We use it to save lives. Cool. Oh. <sighs> so, what's the best part about being a police officer? Now there are two Americas. One is words like allegiance and republic. This America is an ideal, a dream. The other America... The other America is no longer a dream, but a nightmare. Our streets are not safe. Immorality begins to flourish. Violence pits American against American. We don't want this. Moynihan says, the Negro family structure is collapsing, and we ask him the reasons. The first is, remember that American slavery was the worst. Secondly, segregation was a, was a brutal assault. How do you learn how to behave from your father? Well, supposing there is no father, then what do you end up with? You end up a cycle reproducing. These two cops are getting a big thank you. Can you tie my tie? That's right. He asked the cops for help with his tie. The motto we commonly associate with police officers is to serve and protect. It was snow coming and his son couldn't get his necktie tied. Don't know if it was a double Windsor or not. Either way, the kid left looking good for his date. I never really had anyone to teach me that. Jacob made it to the dance on time. Thank you. Am I allowed to give you a hug? entire night was a success. Thank you, Officer Brown. You were a lifesaver. This is Paul Kersey. This is the story of a man who decided to clean up the most violent town in the world. He begins where all the super cops leave off. Yeah. What else you got? I see the money, man. You'll have to take it. Chaos. This is the change, the other America, that the people slowly wake up to. In eight short months, there are more riots in the United States than in the last eight years. In the streets, the mob. 
Mobocracy. We're gonna find him. Okay, we're gonna find him for you. Site 49, you're the pawn. Thank you. Hey, Henry! Henry, listen to me, I'm a police officer. Please, 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 Henry. Please, stay with me. I want my mom. Oh, good, okay. We're gonna find your mommy already. Right, buddy, hang on. Henry. Thank you. Thank you. When you hear a pundit, a politician saying we should have a, quote, conversation about race, that means you're in for a sea of bloviating, which will likely lead nowhere. The sad truth is that from the president on down, our leadership has no clue, no clue at all, about how to solve problems within the black community. And many are frightened to even broach the issue. That's because race hustlers and the grievance industry have intimidated the so-called conversation, turning any valid criticism of African-American culture into charges of racial bias. So many in power simply walk away, leaving millions of law-abiding African Americans to pretty much fend for themselves in violent neighborhoods. You want racism? That's racism. The reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African American family and the lack of involved fathers leads to young boys growing up resentful and unsupervised. Victims of the new America are not numbers, they're human beings. Illegitimate births swell the relief rolls. Juvenile delinquency becomes a way of life. The people ask why. Sometimes you have to go above and beyond the call of duty. Back over. But the cop and veteran, sometimes serving your community, Includes some friendly fashion. Well, so, then, it, so if you want to deal, if you want to deal with this, on the black side, you've got to teach your children to be respectful to the police, and you've got to teach your children that the real danger to them is not the police. The real danger to them, ninety-nine out of a hundred times, nine thousand nine hundred out of a thousand times or other black kids who are going to kill them. That's the way they're going to die. So, and the victims too often are the most defenseless. The kids in the schools. And the victims of the new America are not quickly, numbers, they're okay. human beings. Illegitimate births swell the relief rolls. Juvenile delinquency becomes a way of life. The people ask why, but it is there. The people look to the old dream of what it used to mean to be an American. If I were a black father and I was concerned about the safety of my child, really concerned about it and not in a politically activist sense, I would say be very respectful to police. Most of them are good from here. It's like a zipper. Talk about the ties that bind. So, raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. And finally, challenging the entertainment industry to stop peddling garbage. Hey, listen up, you greed heads. If a kid can't speak proper English, uses the F word in every sentence, is disgraceful, is disrespectful, is disrespectful in his or her manner. That child will never, never be able to commit, compete in the marketplace of America. Never. And it has nothing to do with slavery. It has everything to do with you Hollywood people and you derelict parents. You're the ones hurting these vulnerable children. You want a conversation? You got it. You want a better situation for blacks? Give them a chance to revive their neighborhoods and culture.
work with the good people to stop the bad people. <sighs> Seeing people who are hurting and doing something to make them feel better. Whenever I see people do bad things, I wish I could make them stop. New America, gone wrong. Lost our leadership, lost our way. And I will say to my soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy rest, eat, drink, make good cheer. But God said to him, thou fool, this night do they require thy soul of thee. Two Americas. And you, you alone, standing between them. He goes to open bend. That'd be like. I have to. With all of the negativity that the police officers receive, I want this to go viral. After I get some Wi-Fi, I'm gonna post it. I want people to see officers in a positive light that... So that's, I'm gonna try to play that. I may mess up, I don't know. This is just amazing. Let the chorus it sound like the preacher man says it's the end of the time. And the Mississippi River she's a going dry. So and then strum. You do that twice. So it's the preacher man says it's the end of the time. And the Mississippi River she's a going dry. I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy, so that's the same, came to the D, survive. I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. <clears throat> and then, so, <clears throat> I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can Folks can survive. Is that walk down again? And then he picks it back up. <laughs> <laughs> 